Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Beastmen playthrough, where the end times have just started. We have got the ultimate endgame crisis going on, so um, we have uh, a few a few new bad guys. Um, uh, what brings you here? Which annoyingly means it might be time to offer peace to some of the factions we have been uh, fighting with. Let's see if I can uh, peace out, Gelty boy. Oh, no, I can't. Um, yeah, we are going to need to uh, fold in a bit, especially against the vamps. Um, thankfully, our Skaven haven't joined, haven't joined the uprising. But um, yeah. Also, hopefully, it's going to dealt deal issues to some other people. And obviously, the, the, the trees, the trees are moving, guys. Oh, and we've got a fair few dwarfs there. Uh, yay! Fun times! Sneak, 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 sneak. Sneak, 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 sneak. Uh, thankfully, a lot of these guys are also going to hit other people quite aggressively, which will be useful for me. Okay, Kazrak, you can push back this way for now. Do it! We're seriously close. What actually happens at the end? Immune to attrition. I mean, basically, we've won at that point, right? I'm going to perform the ritual simply because your we've done. Oh! Is now assured. There is no question that your mighty war herd is feared by all the races of the world. One final battle awaits. With the gaze of the Dark Gods upon you, seize victory and assert your dominance. Okay. Ah, Frenzy Boy! Let's try this. Pyrrhic victory predicted. Let's do it, guys. Let's do the final battle. And then once this is all done... Oh, Leon Lunke and Karl Franz. Oh, I think I've actually fought this battle before. <laughs> Leon Lunke is not too bad. I, I, to be fair, I should have probably let myself replenish a bit first. Um, but, you know... We'll see how this goes. I think most of my army can Vanguard deploy as well, which actually means I can hit them from the sides. Annoyingly, I don't think it's going to let me position my army. Is it? Oh, no. No, it is. Oh, ha, 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 yes. So this, this is exactly where we uh, have some fun. Because why? Why would I start where they want me to start? There, bar them, we're just gonna do one massed charge down here, guys. Action. 
Judge! Okay. No, I don't think I want you guys shooting at anything. We are engaging all over quite a bit here. Good. Take out that pigeon boy. I actually want some more support this way. Slam into the back of here, guys. Let's break the empire. Right, let's pause, 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 pause. Ooh. Uh, they get reinforcements, of course, they bloody do. Yes, reduce their leadership, please. Break them. Yeah, the only downside about doing this is I've kind of limited my reinforcements. Good. One of the pigeon boys is about to go down. Then we'll get onto the other goddamn pigeon boy. Charge this way, guys. Make everybody cause terror. Get that other pigeon boy, please. Ooh, I had reinforcements come in from that side too. It's fine. We're doing well here. I kind of want to get everything together. Get on Leon Luenke. Get that pigeon down. <laughs> uh, to be fair, we, we knew this was going to be a hard fight, so... Yeah, I think it's time for a bit of good old-fashioned Control-A action. Oh, you want to march towards me, do you? Through there, do you? Oh, and France came back. We're eating pigeon. More pigeon. Did I already take him out? I think I already took him out. Good. Yeah, they're all breaking now. Oh, it's Pegasus is, 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 is want to land on us. It's fine. It's just clearing up now, guys, and this guy hiding over here. Because he's too scared to fight me. Seriously, land in the middle of us all and die horribly.
He has to land now, I think. Yeah, they have to land or surrender. It's over, guys. Oh, so we did up it from a Pyrrhic to a close, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, we basically utterly destroyed their formation. Um, the other, I, I could have attacked with the other Warhood, but I'd have spent time taking damage. It may have, may have been able to do things better, but by attacking from behind like that, I just... Uh, effectively the same as an ambush, guys. I, I completely destroyed their formation. And Kazrak shredded the two pigeon boys. Funny, because that's the only quest battle I've actually done so far. And this army could certainly be better. Nice. We have uh, happily made the fall of man happen. Technically completed the campaign now. Yay. Thing. Yeah, let's go clear the settlement out. Lightning strike. That's us done there. Hmm. No, let's also start working on lightning strike. So they're going to slam into the back of Pigeon Boy again there. Um, so I just call all the Empire characters, all the humans who are on flying mounts are Pigeon Boys. Yeah, sure. You're nowhere near my territory. Nowhere near the sacred blood ground, which is like bigger than most nations at this point. <laughs> Imagine trying to be a trader or a hunter trying to cross that territory. And to be fair, I don't know how dangerous it would be for individuals. I mean, if you don't get caught, you're probably fine. I imagine that the, the, the beastmen are fairly good at hunting, though, or certainly some of them. Oh. Oh. Oh, I haven't even twigged. I'm also fighting Draker now. I'm in trouble. That's fine. We can deal with the Wargrave of Woe. Right? Right? Oh! Oh shit. So, we appear to have just crashed. We are having a little be right back and we will try it again. I did say I'm probably bringing this one to an end soon, so... We will see, cause... Cause that ain't good. Uh, yeah. Small little crash. We'll be back in two seconds. We will try running through the end turn again. And we will see what happens. Though, it's entirely possible this may be the end of the playthrough, guys.
Um, I suspect. Come on, load, load on the screen. It is up for some reason. It's not showing. There we go. Hmm. This ain't looking good, is it, guys? So you're not seeing what I'm seeing. It's, it's all gone grey, and it's 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 not loading. <laughs> yeah. Wish us luck, guys. Wish us luck. Let's double time in case it was something happening. I'm gonna not agree in case it was that. I think I think we might be good, but I think we're probably gonna I suspect it's the end game stuff causing um Issues. Damn. No, the sacred blood crowns are under threat, guys. Deal with the annoying pigeon boy. Re raise the herdstone. We are going to have to start pushing north. A discordant song. That is worrying. Especially as it's, it's killed half my blood grounds. But I kind of need to ignore it for now. I mean, not that it matters if my blood grounds are destroyed. That's the funny thing about this whole thing. You what? These land. Right. My technocracy. You dare. <laughs> Bigger warp forges! One, two more turns until Torox is ready to go. Search me, guys! I can only have five lords at the moment. I can have another gold. Less heroes. Is this the most I can ever get? That'd be disappointing if it's the case. guy around quite a bit and build up his force quite nicely but I don't think I can do that just yet <laughs> I 
There we go. <clears throat> Let's see what happens now. Yeah, I will take a full military well alliance with a changeling. He can he can hide under my ruined territories. Um, these guys are what worry me, and them having taken there is annoying. But daft as it sounds, I almost want them to expand a bit before. Yeah, we knew that was going to fall. I need to fall back and defend my current territory before I do much more. Um, the most dangerous bit is that bit in the far north. I do have vampires over here. But I suspect the orthodoxy is going to be facing them off against them more. The chaos corruption is going to be helping us massively. Oh, damn. And obviously the dwarves need to fall. Need to, to face a brass bull. Um, but yeah. Most of our, our, our glorious blood grounds is relatively safe. Probably a nice place to cap. Again, at the moment, it's very much about growing our herds. To be fair, if he takes that, that's not actually the end of the world. Again, the real benefit of my um, lords, of my legendary lords, is it means that they can't lose if they die before they, they don't lose their 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 herd buildings. So I can rebuild them much more easily. So Torox is going to go nom some dwarves soon. Acquire new armor. Good. They did exactly the wrong thing there. Bugger me. Yeah, so the Dwarven expansion may be an issue for us, guys. Uh, the dwarves are on the warpath. We are going to lose a lot of our blood grounds here, which we will have to spend time re-establishing. But again, this is the funny thing about playing Beastmen, is I could literally disappear into the undergrowth for like 20 turns. And it would have no real negative impact on us. Bow before. Let's move. So we're going to go for here as a nice start position. Don't get why sometimes doing that makes it worse. Oh, 
Nom 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 nom. Seriously, they resettled it behind me again. Are they just, like, insane? Okay. Melee defense. And lightning strike and better ambushes. There we go. So they're kind of my weaker herds up north. Um, but together they're quite powerful. I think I'm probably going to bring them to try and deal with the pointiers. Let the pointiers set themselves up a bit first, ideally. Uh, so we can set up a, like a blood ground within their territory to stop things being settled too much. No! Again, this is kind of where I'm in an odd situation. I kind of want to let people resettle at least a little bit. Because if they resettle a little bit, it means I can re-establish myself. God damn. I oh, know, we knew that was going to go. And again, we don't need even need the blood grounds anymore. Uh, they All they do for us is stop the enemy uh, settling. Get our butts out of there. In fact, there's no negative, there's no reason for me not to perform rituals as early as I can now. Hmm. Up into the mountains and hide. We're going to start heading this way to try and re establish a region up here. Stop it! You annoying people. Not likely. Again, no reason not to insta perform re re uh, rituals now. Not ideal. We've lost a lot of our blood grounds, but again, we are in no. There's absolutely no threat to us, guys. Let's be honest here. Uh, nothing here is even vaguely a danger to us. Um, at this point, we are basically unkillable because even if the worst case happens, I will just disappear into the forest somewhere and rebuild. Yeah, Britonia may. Yeah. Britonia may survive for a while, but even then. See, it's annoying because they're not settling places. Uh, 
And not settling places is going to be make re-establishing my herd stones more difficult. Yeah, we need to get across here. Oops, lost a unit. Anyway, guys, that is where we are going to leave this. I may finish this one here, guys. I'll have a think on it. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but also suggestions for other playthroughs, because even though we're dealing with the end game crisis, guys, it's not even vaguely a threat to me. There's no way I can lose at this point. It is just a matter of time before I destroy the entire world. And I'm going to be honest, it's getting very samey. Um, because there's no real, all the battles are just walkovers now. Um, I could theoretically, it's just time to build everything into one minor, massive minotaur swarm. So, let me know what you think anyway. As always, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. Comments down below, as mentioned, let me know what you'd like to see. And an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's Monsters Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Protaru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Nubi One Kenobi, Jared Horn, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you all for watching. Cheers all.